Welcome to the section discussing what is the Microsoft Bot Framework. When writing, developing, and deploying bots, developers face numerous issues. The main ones being that bots must have a way of receiving data and responding to requests. The bot must also have language and dialogue skills. After all, you have to remember that information on computers and on the internet is stored as values of ones and zeros. This may work well for computers or bots, but it does not work well for humans who need the information. So, developers have, come, have to come up with a way for the bots to retrieve the ones and zeros and translate the values into a way that humans can use. Another issue developers face is based on the fact that their bots must be performant, receptive, and scalable. By being performant, the bot must be able to work or perform. This is regardless of the hardware or software that it is running on. Due to this requirement, bots tend to be simple in their design and able to work on almost any kind of network. But also, the system or hardware that it is deployed to must be reliable. After all, a bot is useless if it is not up and running. To be receptive, the bot has to operate 24 hours a day and 7 days a week, with little or no oversight. This requires the developer to foresee any possible issues which may arise and account for them in order to keep the bots running. And finally, a bot must be scalable, which means it must be able to grow or increase its size based on demand. The bots we will make for this class will be for our use. As such, there will not be a lot of people asking the bots for information. But if we were making a bot for Amazon.com to use as a part of their online customer support system, that bot would need to be able to handle hundreds, if not tens of thousands of requests. If it cannot, then the bot's performance would steadily decrease until it was not able to work any longer. Normally, when we speak about scalable applications, it means that we have to manually bring online additional servers, network connections, and storage. As I said in the beginning of this course, bots are able to work when we are sleeping. And since the bots are deployed to the internet, practically anyone at any time needs to be able to access them. So the idea of manually bringing resources online is not really practical. Also, the software code itself must be able to expand automatically to take into account any new resources. To this point, I only touched on the topic of expanding or increasing resources being used. The same holds true, however, for decreasing resources not being used. You have to remember that when the resources are no longer needed, there are still a cost associated with them. By being scalable, however, the bot must be able to offload any resources it has and is not using so that the cost of running the bot can decrease as well. And finally, developers have to make their bots accessible to users around the world. There are many channels which can be used to do this. However, they are all different and have differing requirements. If the developer does manage to get various channels running, they will run into the issue of keeping the channels in alignment with each other. Can you imagine the confusion that would come if you accessed a bot using SMS and received one answer, and then accessed the same bot on Skype and receiving a totally different answer? Microsoft Corporation created the bot framework to make the work of building and linking bots to users easier. The Microsoft Bot Framework is an all-inclusive offering that is used for building as well as deploying bots to various channels which users like to use. It has features which make the task of building bots easier. The Bot Framework sits within Microsoft's Azure Cloud offering. It is not within the scope of this class to go into great detail as to what the Azure Cloud is, but I will tell you that due to the number of servers and policies within Azure, that a high uptime value is guaranteed. Also, they are able to offer several channels for communicating with bots. And due to the network of data centers around the world, bots can be accessed from any place by anyone. The bot framework has been publicly available since March of 2016. Also, Microsoft has committed to continually updating and improving the bot framework by introducing new tools, models, and communications channels. And perhaps the best part is 
the bot framework is free to use. The bot framework consists of three main components, which include the bot builder SDK, the developer portal, and the bot directory. The bot builder SDK has various tools for creating bots. It is open sourced, meaning that the source code and documentation can be used and changed by anyone. It is hosted on GitHub. The bot framework developer portal allows developers to connect their bots rather seamlessly to various global communication networks. This includes text or SMS, Slack, Facebook Messenger, Skype, Office 365 Mail, Kick, Microsoft Teams, and other general services. As an aside, all bots that are registered within the bot framework are automatically configured to be able to use the Skype and World Wide Web channels. And finally, if desired, the bot can be published to the bot directory. The bot directory is a public registry which consists of all reviewed dot bots that have been registered through the developer portal. The directory is in place so that users can discover, try, and add bots from the bot directory. The only condition required for bots to show in the directory is that developers must submit them for the review.